Wing News. Hello, fellow Americans. Welcome to Right Wing News. I am your host, the voice of reason. And this particular article uh, comes from the New York Post and basically discusses how Anonymous, the, the famous um, activist group, has made it pretty clear that they're of the belief that we are ever so slowly, but ever so surely, marching our way into what is, what is going to turn out to be World War III, despite what our mainstream media is telling us. We all know how, how honest they can be, right? So the, the group in a video that's included says that both the U.S. and North Korea continue to strategically move their pieces into place, you know, for an up and cut for what is going to amount to a battle. Um, and it says that, you know, unlike wars in the past, this will have a ground war. There is going to be a component to it that will be on the ground. But for the most part, expect it to be fierce, brutal, quick and globally devastating. Now, part of the reason why so dramatic is if you and I include a, a copy of the, the post in this particular uh, post as well. And it, it basically lines out who NATO would be going up against in the event that this war does break out. And I would say when it breaks out, it's kind of like the, the global reset. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just whether it happens in six months or 18, nobody knows. You know, same thing with Kim Jong-un. You know, at some point, he's going to do something that's unforgivable, whether it's next week or whether it's a year from now. Either way, we are marching toward it at, at light speed. Um, so it, it breaks down who's going to be falling on you know, basically with what alliances. And you've got Russia recently um, said that it would support Iran's efforts to join the Shanghai Corporation organization, which is out of China. And that particular group is comprised of China, Russia. Um, it's got India and Pakistan, no, 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 four nuclear powers so far, are honorary members or uh, some type of pro probationary members this year. And then Iran would be, I would say, arguably the fifth nuclear power to, to join that. And then you'd have NATO. So we're going to be looking at an absolutely gruesome war. Uh, if North Korea, you know, we know that they've got nukes. So that already puts, we've got five, the U.S. is six, North Korea is seven. Uh, if any of our allies, you know, England, France, we're up to nine nuclear powers getting in war. <laughs> not good. Not good at all. So, uh, in order to make sure that you continue to get the news, the news that you deserve, unlike the garbage that's fed to you from the mainstream media, you know, please do not miss this post here. Uh, may we never forget freedom is not free. Uh, it explains what's going on with YouTube and, and why we still need your help, uh, if you can give any, to, to keep the channel afloat and keep getting you this information. Here's Anonymous's new video. It came out three days ago. Uh, essentially what it says is um, it's chilling, no, no doubt about it. But it tells people across the globe that it's time to prepare for World War III. Uh, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that at the bottom of posts like this, I always include uh, a tremendous list of not just resources, but books, um, all types of, of uh, links to begin prepping. Because inevitably, whether it's the, the, the global economy or a war, hell on earth is coming, folks. So if you're not preparing, you're just you're setting yourself up and your family. Uh, for major, major, major problems. So um, this particular link here talks about, uh, I only include it because I think it's wrong. Uh, there's no chance in hell the U.S. is going to launch any type of preemptive military action against North Korea, only because of the potential for what they could do in return. Uh, they could obliterate, you know, a couple million people in Seoul or uh, Tokyo. Seoul's only 35 miles south of the border. So the U.S. will not be initiating any wars, but uh, we may probably going to have to clean one up. Now, uh, the hackers make the claim that uh, recent military movements in the region and alleged warnings by made by both Japan and South Korea to their people about potential for nuclear attacks pretty much should be signaling to people this is real. You know, ignore the U.S. mainstream media that's always full of crap anyway. Um, it says watching each country moves strategic pieces into place, the organization says, in that typical, ro you know, robot voice that it always has. It says, but unlike past world wars, 
Although there will be ground troops, this battle is going to be fierce, brutal, and quick. It's also going to be globally devastating, both on the environment and on economic levels. Uh, people will be killing one another just to have means to eat, should this war erupt. Again, you're going to have eight or nine nuclear powers stuking it out, and the odds of all of them refraining from it, it's just not good. So goes on to talk about how Trump, obviously last week, granted it was a delayed test of our Minuteman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, that test was supposed to have gone off several months ago. It's just kind of strange that the timing worked out that way. Um, but there's also been warnings from Japanese officials as well as South Korean officials to, to be ready for, for nuclear attack. And, you know, that's also in keeping with what we've been hearing out of Germany for a couple of months now since the summer. Uh, as well as uh, the Czech Republic, you know, warning their citizens to, to begin preparing enough food and medical supplies for existence-threatening events. Uh, that sounds pretty bad. So, you know, as usual, you know, the, the entire rest of the world knows what's going on, but our mainstream media is just so dishonest that most Americans don't have a clue. Here's the article that I mentioned that it lines up uh, who's aligned with who, but really what it boils down to is NATO versus the Shanghai Corporation, which is, again, it's uh, it's led by China, but it's got China, Russia, uh, India, Pakistan, and Iran. I mean, that's five nuclear powers right there. So, um, so this is a real war with real consequences, real consequences, potentially human humankind consequences. Uh, you got three superpowers in the mix, and, you know, like I said, nine of them being nuclear powers. Uh, that means all the, the other surrounding countries are going to be coerced into size. If you don't think for one second that, you know, Iran isn't going to launch something that gets lobbed over into Israel, you, you, you just don't know history very well. Uh, it's not like it's going to be confined to, you know, just one or two actors. It's, it's going to be ugly. Uh, it says the U.S. and South Korea have been working together to keep the peace in the region, along with China and the Philippines, but... Lately, the pleas have fallen on deaf ears. Uh, there's also been some question as far as whether or not North Korean agents have, sleeper agents, have been released into the U.S. No question they could have easily come in through the southern border uh, with biological weapons. Uh, North Korea has got the, the single largest stockpile of biological weapons on the planet. 5,000 tons of chemical and biological weapons, uh, in addition to their 25 to 29 nukes. So, uh, they claim that the Trump administration has also been working really closely with the Australians for uh, deployment of a thousand U.S. troops into the country, along with a large fleet of military aircraft. That's also where a, a very critical CIA station point is as well. Austra Australia is a very strategically located, uh, particularly obviously for a war over there. This particular link here explains what the mainstream media is not explaining to Americans, and that is that, you know, how many people have we lost in 16 years worth of war in the Middle East? You know, six, 7,000, you know, many more wounded. Uh, this would be tens of thousands, uh, probably tens of thousands of American soldiers alone, because even if you were to take North Korea by force, by air, at some point, you need to go in and secure things by ground. And they've been digging in... Uh, what do they call it? The, the little uh, pothole things with the guns. I, I can't remember. The, uh, they're dug into their mountains. That's their home turf. Uh, we would likely lose, most military experts have said, in excess of the number of troops that we lost in the first Korean War, which was around 35,000. So America is not ready for that emotionally. I think America is war, war wary. Um, so that article really goes into detail as far as if this person does this, this is what we should expect and the consequences that are going to come with it. Um, which is why I include this. You know, most families have, that have not picked up on the fact that at the very least there's an economic tsunami, a biblical proportions coming that you should be preparing for. Some people still haven't. So I include this. Uh, there's a, an excellent ebook that you can get for like 35 bucks. It's called Conquering the Collapse. And it's excellent about telling you if you know nothing about how to prep, you know, what you can do on a very meager budget. You know, it's like prepping for idiots almost. Well, that particular link is my my personal review of the book and, and my experience with it because I've worn out my iPad with it. Um, so arguably the, the, the biggest warning sign that Anonymous points out uh, that Americans should be paying attention to 
and some of us are, uh, is the simple fact that you know Trump has got the president of the Philippines coming in here to visit relatively soon. I know that they were working on getting that set up a week or so ago. And for those that don't know, that guy's, you know, I, I believe he called President Obama's mother a bitch or something. I don't remember. It was something crazy like that. Um, this guy's also been known to, to shoot drug dealers, you know, in the street. Um, it's, he's an interesting character. So the mere fact that Trump is working so closely with him really should be a sign to people that all is not, all is not well. There's, uh, it's not smooth sailing to say the least. So as far as, you know, other information, here's uh, several other links that, that'll have information you mainly will not get from the mainstream media as far as, you know, some of the, the different types of conversations and uh, bits of news you know, that, that deal with specifically North Korea. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, there's links to resources for how to begin prepping. At some point, folks, we are going to need it, whether, again, whether it's the, the economic reset or war or civil unrest or you know, racial tension, you name it, you know, there there's there's a major you know what storm coming and those that are not prepared for it are, are probably gonna pay for it with their lives um, here's the book that I mentioned um, several other notable books uh, and last but not least you know if all this comes to pass you know we, we don't have any idea how that's gonna things are gonna play out so the only thing required for the president of the United States to declare martial law is for him to, to feel that there is a state of public emergency and that was established in the 2006 John Water Defense Act. So it's at his sole discretion. So should martial law ever be declared, I include roughly about 2,000 pages of official U.S. Uh, documents on how our country is prepared to react both to foreign aspects as well as to its own citizens. And I can assure you it has no, uh, no intentions of treating its own citizens very well. And, you need look no further than the U.S. Army's Civilian Inmate Labor Program. Uh, those are your FEMA camps, you know, the ones that are all conspiracy. Yeah, they're not so conspiracy. When they're, when they're included in the United States Federal Code, you can be pretty sure they're not conspiracy. Um, so, again, lots of references here. Folks, he who controls the information controls. Uh, the fact that the mainstream media is telling everybody that everything's going to be fine, everything's cooling off. You know, that's it's not allowing people the opportunity to to stock up on extra food or you know to, to do the things that they otherwise might do. Uh, so, you know, if you controls the information controls, do your part, please share this information with other people. There is so much reference material in this post, uh, in addition to the actual news of what's going on that Anonymous shares. And again, it wasn't just a, uh, a caveat. They put their videos out throughout the year pretty frequently. Uh, this one was one that, you know, was, was picked up by the New York Post. So, again, give it the, the attention that it deserves. Uh, with that, please subscribe to the channel for future updates. Hit the bell or the gear so you get notified when new videos do get released. Sound off in the comments. And, folks, again, please share like crazy on social media. The more people who know, the better off everybody will be. Voice of Reason now.